Hello, I am the Cyclist Blogger, and welcome to the news. Today I'm having a little help with the news from Mal Sutton. I'm in a couple of his videos, so go over to his channel and check them out. Thank you very much for that shout out, Keegan. I'm happy to be on this channel and helping you out with the news. Okay, so we got a bit of tech from Eurobike, over in Europe, obviously. Uh, Kenyan have released their new disc brake ultimate bike with that can take 30 millimeter tires. So that's going to be a really good bike for um, all conditions, basically, just so that you can go on dirt and all that. And it'll be much better for climbing um, than the 28ers because they'll have obviously more grip and so on. So it's just going to be an all round better bike than the uh, previous Kenyan versions. And Cervelo has also released their disc, a disc brake ready bike with the R3. Just wait, don't go yet. Um, basically, the R3 is going to be. Basically, everyone's just. All the brands are just releasing their disc ready bikes so they can start putting them into the Peloton because currently, they're, what's happening in the Pel Pro Peloton is that they're just slightly changing around the forks of the bike so that they could t adapt with the disc brakes but now with all the brands releasing their new bikes for 2016 they're actually able to change the frame of the bike and everything to suit the disc brakes. Also, Canyon and Sony have released a new cycle computer that syncs to your Android device so you're able to have apps running on the computer during your ride. That's It's also uh, fully integrated into the stem so that um, it's obviously lots more aero than. Oh, we forgot to talk about the <laughs> this ride. And we've basically that's all that there is on. Oh. We've that's basically that's all that there is on this um, on the Sony Canyon computer. Um, and I think it'll also be a big jump forward. And also, it's going to be a good alternative to um, all the Garmin's that they that are out at the moment. And then just like the Rotor Group set that was um, talked, the Rotor Group set you know that was talked about last week. It's just going to reduce the um, price of all this tech. Okay, so the video is when I was in, yeah, when when uh, when we were down south, um, south southeast Queensland at the end of last year, and we're in uh, Landsbar, and I actually got lost. <laughs> and managed to somehow. I have uploaded this video before. Um, and I named it as Lost in the Forest. This is the last little bit before I actually got lost. And I got back to the campsite at 8.30 at night. I think no, it was. was like 10. No, it was earlier than that. I think it was at about 8.30, but yeah. I was just I was just standing on the side of the road waiting, you have <laughs> waiting that on to get the picked video. up. You have that on the video. At the very end of the video, if you like look at the very end of the video, um, I was checking out before. You can see, like, you stopping and getting off your bike, and you, the camera's just there, and you can't see anything. I was looking. I was looking at the view as I was uh, in the original video that I actually uploaded. I was um, talking about the view and everything, but at that point, that was where I was concerned. I'm like, oh, where am I actually going now? <laughs> you, so you say in the video, oh, it's the next left intersection. I'll be going down. I'll have a um. I have a descent and everything. Yeah, and then I'll have an incline up. And then, but then it's like you didn't take the right turn. No, I, I, I think. No, I haven't screwed it up yet. No, no, no. You screwed up at like the end of the video, near the end of the video. Okay, so we got some transfer news. Uh, Canada Garmin have announced the new signings of Pierre Roland from Europe Car and Rigoberto Uran from Etex Quickstep. And Etex. Step have also signed Dan Martin. Uh, Wiser Hegedel is leaving Canada Garmin to go to Trek Factory Racing. Peter Steenard from BMC is also moving to Trek Factory Racing. Uh, Sierra El Gaultier from Europe Car moves to AG2R. And Mark Cavendish could be moving to MTN Quebec. Oh, you got it. <laughs> nice work. Uh, the GP cyclist de Quebec was won by Rigoberto Uran in a sprint to the line, beating Michael Matthews, Alexander Christoph, Tom Slater, and Diego Ulysse. The Grand Prix of Montreal, Tim Wellens won over Adam Yates, Yats in a breakaway from the main bunch, with Rue Costa rounding out the podium. 
Uh, also, last night, the Vuelta finished up, and it was a sprint to the end in the final stage, with John Degenkop winning, and a real battle for the GC contenders, with Fabio Aru prevailing, and ending, ended up with a lead of a minute and 17 seconds. Um, Esteban Chavez, so basically I'm just going to go through a couple of the riders that I thought did pretty well, Maliki will do a couple as well. Uh, Esteban Chavez performed really well to begin with for the first couple of stages. After dropping down through the classification after several attacks on the hilltop finishes, he managed to claw his way back to fit. Even in the toughest of attacks with GC contenders attacking Chavez, he held his nerve and only lost small amounts of time throughout several stages. At only 25, he's giving the Colombian something to cheer about. At 36 years of age, Jackie Rodriguez is at the opposite end of the scale to Ch Chavez. 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 <laughs> he's currently at the point of overall contention in Grand Tours and one-week races, slipping towards his one-day racing. He performed incredibly. He performed. He performed incredibly well in the few days that he held the red jersey and the days leading up to him capturing it. I don't think he'll be out of contention anytime soon, considering how well he performed in the Vuelta. I don't think he'll be until like two years time until he starts doing just one day races. It's a bit like when Cadell Evans did it. He'll either just keep doing Grand Tour races or he will just, um, just stop Grand Tours or just be a support and then go on to just doing like focusing on pass to Rube and all that. Um, I was most impressed this uh, this year by Tom Dumoulin's performance in the Vuelta. To be able to stick with the main contenders and even attack w was incredibly impressive. In the stage 17 individual time trial, he was absolutely incredible in smashing Aru and putting three seconds on him in the GC. On stage 19, was even, he was even able to put more time on Aru on a stage most people think Aru would take back the three seconds. By stage 20, he had close to nothing left and put up a good fight, but Aru slipped away on the hilly stage to take back the lead and put seven minutes on him. Overall, he put up a good fight for such a large rider that is usually considered a sprinter. He'll definitely be in contention for next year's Grand Tours. Fabio Aru won the Vuelta overall. That was, did I say that right? Vuelta. Vuelta. Nice one. Overall. Whether you like it or not, Fabio Aru did incredibly well in the Vuelta. At it, and left his attack in the overall to the uh, to the last possible stage, absolutely destroying Dumoulin, 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 and Jackie and Rodriguez. Although he was slightly up himself, that six seconds was nothing, and he could easily be shut down. This could have probably seemed pretty bad if he didn't end up winning. He knew his strengths and weaknesses. He performed pretty well and deserved to be a winner. So. Oh, we've got we got a bit of time. We could have a bit of a chat yes, if you do. if you want to. <laughs> yeah, we could. We only took eight minutes for that. Yeah, we thought it would take a lot longer. Yeah. I like I like to point out that you did most of those names, all right? <laughs> kind you, of. You I had guess so. you had um. It's Fabio Aru. Fabio Aru. Aru. Oh, what's that guy who has like his name wife? Ah. Uh, I think I actually got that wrong. I don't yeah, know. You said, you said. Look, let's Google Rigoberto it. Roberto Oran. You didn't say the second one. I think Rigoberto it, Oran Oran. I might. He goes by two different names. I think it's Rigoberto Oran Oran. Like here. Yeah, you hold it. I'm holding the phone. I'll I'll <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I had to. Roberto Oran. Let's see. It's actually, it's probably spelled his first name wrong. Rig. Rigoberto. Rigoberto. Wow. Wow. Get in there. Windows 10 is horrible. Yeah, it's Oran Oran. Yeah, look, he's been world champion. That's like, um... He's a Colombian. He currently races for... Yep, races for... Yep, yeah, it's... Oh, no, look, he goes by Ur Oran and Oran yeah. Oran. Oh. So, yeah, it was both... It was right in both sense. Oh, look, this is the point where I was going to Ford Knob and I asked for directions. Yeah, you were gonna go... You were meant to, um... No, 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 it's not yet. It's... I'm still um, going across the top, and then I oh, drop yeah. down to, to the back. Um, oh, that's like the picture on Facebook, where it's like, he's like, Oh, I, I need a punishment. So the teacher installed Windows 10 on her computer. <laughs> um, Windows 10, if, if you're there, don't, just don't get Windows 10. It's just 
bad. This is going off cycling. Yeah. This is this is a cycling <laughs> show, Millie. Really. It's like a quick look. Like you can get it if it's already installed on the laptop, but if you're upgrading to it, just don't. Just just, don't. just just wait till just wait till eleven. Just like how everyone waited for they everyone didn't want eight because it was awful. Everyone so they just so they're like, nah, it's it's awful. We'll just wait for ten. Well, and they, then ten's awful. And now they're going to eleven. Look, this is where I turned. This is I was going the right way now. Yeah. And then I head along this way. What am I doing? That's oh, a funny looking car. Yeah, it's, it's, what, it's all it's Toyota. Like, it's like our Toyota, yeah. No, I think it's a Mitzi. You bought a Mitzi! Um, so mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, it's been a pretty... It, that's all of the Grand Tours for this year so far. That, that's the end of the, all the Grand Tours. That's the last one, so... It's a bit sad now. I, I don't mm -hmm. have any excuse to stay up late anymore. <laughs> um, Just like, fake, like your own Grand Tour. Yeah, but like, it's oh the a, grand tour of of something. The grand tour of Victoria is on. Yeah, the it's. We don't live in Victoria. You don't know where where we live. Ha. Um, but like, <laughs> there was like, it's a, been a pretty decent year in cycling. This um, besides from the fact where, um of the dominance of the Tour de France, I think that really quite annoyed me. Um. And by the end of it, uh, I think by about stage 13, um, they already had like four or five minutes. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> we already had like four, uh, four or five minutes and it was just not worth watching because it wasn't exciting anymore. I think we can we almost wrap it up now. We should go on a ride sometime soon. Yeah, we've done a couple of mountain bike rides. I, I tried to use... the road bike ride. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because... That, um, trek hasn't been used in a while. I haven't used it very often. No, um, I think I took the pedals. No, the, no. The I pedals took, are still on it. No, I took the pedals off it. Oh, look, this is the really nice bit here. I think. No? Okay, never mind. You should attach your camera to your helmet. Um, but if I wanted to do that, I have to put cable ties on it. Oh. And I have to cut <laughs> the cable ties every time. Well, you can just keep it on there, and, like, if you're, like... That'd be cool, because if you're, like walking around you could like have your helmet on and like if you no that would look weird if, like you just walk into like a shopping center with like a camera on your head no that's weird maliki <laughs> i think this is i oh, look this is the really nice part this is when you go downhill and it gets really bumpy i was watching this before how are you watching well, did you just press play no like i, I exited this oh look here look this like, is the really watching. nice bit are you stopped no, I, I stop it in about three stop minutes. Right. Look, we're gonna. I'm gonna give a commentary of it uh, uh, now. So here we have Kim and Philip Baker going down. Oh, we have a black Jeep. Oh, that was red Jeep. We have a red Jeep passing by. Okay, him. okay, stop. <laughs> I just meant on like, on what was going on. So this is um basic. A uh, lens bar is up. No, don't don't worry about making it big. I'm making it big. Okay, Maliki's making it big. Don't don't touch anything else. <laughs> Basically, Landsberg's up um, in the hinterlands above um, above the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. We went down there in the January holidays. Oh, look, it just cut. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I stopped I the video. Yeah, you stopped it, and now you started going, and for some reason you stopped. Oh, yeah, I was, that was, really I just, I was cutting the video a lot. It was only like a couple of meters ahead, because you can see that it's like up there. That little yeah. Bit. There we are. I think this, I've screwed it up now. I think, I think you I... screwed it up when you weren't recording it. <laughs> yeah. You might do. Might have. Because you said that there was going to be a decrease and then an incline. So far, there hasn't been... It well, just went dark. Oh, no, that's just because of the... That's just the lack. Oh. Look, this is all the hills. You didn't get to see all of this. This was a really amazing part. Look, I show you the glass house mountains in a second. I lean it against that. And look, look at that. How really, how spectacular is that? The Glasshouse Mountains, they were really cool. Um, yeah. who, who was that that named that? That was... I don't know. Oh, James. Yeah, it was, Cook, uh, it? was James Cook, I'm yeah, pretty cause, sure. Yeah, because apparently they looked all glassy from when he was out on the ship. Yeah. Exploring. Yeah, that's a lot of hills. There was heaps of hills. And then I go down further just along here. I better, we better actually wrap it up if we want to wrap it up before right. the video ends. 
<laughs> so there, you, you you do your official thing. We've gone way off the script, but go <laughs> do your thing that we've written on the script. Go. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks Keegan for having me. Uh, thanks for coming, Maliki. Do go check out Mal Sutton. Link in the description if I if I put it there. Uh, <laughs> uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. There will be a video up on Wednesday, and I'll be telling you guys about the major rides that I'll be doing. Oh, it's just broken. Yeah. It only goes till 16. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't matter. Um, we can <laughs> talk in the dark. Um, <laughs> but, but basically I'm going to go to Ingham, and I'm going to go Air, and I'm going to go to Mount Stewart and also Paluma. Why are you going there? Where? Hey, that ride! Mount Paluma and Air? I'm going Why to, are you going there? I'm going to Air because of, um, there's this hill there called Mount Inkerman, and it's oh, really steep. Know. That's the one we went to when yeah. I was at Mackay, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably, I'll probably do, just, let me just, just a, I'm just gonna ride into town and back. Look, there's the Glasshouse Mountains. We have 33 seconds. Okay, I don't care. Alright. So basically that's what's gonna be coming out on Wednesday. And I am the Cyclist Vlogger, that's Mal Sutton. I'm Mal Sutton. Thank you very much for watching, and... Goodbye. Goodbye.